Hi guys, my name is James, and I'm here with another episode of This Day. As usual, there are three words connected to this episode. They are gumbo, hitchhiker, and tenor. Gumbo, hitchhiker, tenor. It's October the 12th today, and it's Gumbo Day. That's why gumbo is our first word of the day. Gumbo is a thick soup made with meat, fish, and okra. And now it's time to check some notable events that made an impact in history, involving cornerstones, raincoats, and more. Seventeen ninety three. The cornerstone of Old East, the oldest state university building in the United States, is laid on the campus of the University of North Carolina. Eighteen twenty three. Charles Mackintosh of Scotland sells the first braincoat. 1847. German inventor and industrialist Werner von Siemens found Siemens and Halsk, which later becomes Siemens AG. 1979. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the first of five books in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy comedy science fiction series by Douglas Adams, is published. And here we find our second word of the day, hitchhiker. A hitchhiker is someone who travels to places by getting free rides from drivers of passing cars. There is a moment in every dawn when light floats. There is the possibility of magic. Creation holds its breath. This is the quote from The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy a book that was originally a radio comedy. Douglas Adams later adapted it for the first two novels. Then there was a computer game, a mini TV series, a comic book mini series, a movie, and of course, more novels. And these new novels were adapted into radio comedies. To connect the books as one series, American publishers added a green smiley planet named the Cosmic Cutie. Douglas Adams hated this idea and didn't want this character to appear, but the American readers actually liked it very much. Unfortunately, not all events in history were good. Let's take a look at some sad and tragic ones. 1960. Television viewers in Japan unexpectedly witnessed the assassination of Inijiro Asanuma, leader of the Japan Socialist Party, when he's stabbed to death during a live broadcast. 1992. A huge earthquake occurs in Cairo, Egypt. At least 510 die. 2013. 51 people are killed after a truck veers off a cliff in La Convención province, Peru. Guys, remember that all of this is history now, and we have a bright future ahead of us now. There are so many famous people born on October the 12th. Let's check them out. 1537. 
Edward VI of England was born in Hampton Court Palace, England. 1868. August Hawke, German engineer, businessman, and founder of Audi, was born in Winninger, Prussia. 1992. Josh Hutchison, American actor and producer, was born in Union, Kentucky. 1935. Luciano Pavarotti, Italian tenor and actor, was born in Modena, Italy. And our third word of the day is tenor. A tenor is a male singing voice that can reach the range of notes below the lowest woman's voice. Luciano Pavarotti is one of the most famous and commercially successful tenors in the world. It all started in 1961 when he performed as Rodolfo in La Boheme. Two years later, he performed at the Royal Opera House in Covent Garden. This led to his appearance on TV and increase in popularity. Besides giving the concerts and appearing on TV, Pavarotti was also a painter and even starred in a movie. Yes, Giorgio, 1982, didn't become a hit and was panned by critics. But his paintings were featured at the New York exhibition in 1986. He began his last farewell tour, which spanned 40 cities in 2004 at the age of 69. And that's all we have for today. We will remember this day for its hitchhikers and tenors. My name is James, and I'll see you soon.